So just a quick disclaimer, this is of course all a skit, I love my end gauge and it's a really awesome scale if ever you want to get into it, so this video isn't to put you off, just more to have a laugh over the little issues of N-Gage. That said, let's get into it, all the annoyances of N-Gage. Number one, the trains always stall when they're starting off. Number two, Graham Farish bogeys and Cato points seem to just have a hatred for each other. I ended up sending an engine back before it even appeared on the channel because of this issue. Number three, when you build your layout too big so that when there's a derailment, then you can't reach to get the engine back. Uh. Number four. When you spend hours trying to work out why your train isn't working. And then you look over to the mains and see it's not even plugged in. Number five. When the couplings decide today's the day to concoct the weirdest shape you have ever seen. And just cause your life to be hell. Number six, when something really tiny falls off and you can't be bothered to try and fit on a buffer using super glue. And speaking of super glue, whenever you use it, your fingers end up getting lathered in it. Number seven, you will never find two engines that run at exactly the same speed. Number eight, when you turn the controller the wrong way and the whole train ends up ramming into a wall. Number nine, you may say you're not a rivet counter, but you'll always find yourself comparing numbers to the magazine. Or writing down your running numbers. Or comparing liveries. Or even, do you know what, I'll just stop. Number ten. Everything in this hobby is rare, so once you see something you like, then money is thrown out the window. You just buy it. Number 11. When you put a new spring in a coupling, you expect it to be fine, but after 10 minutes, it's popped straight out again. Number 12. When you have to look through really fine glasses and have a camera in front of that that's fully zoomed in and well focused, just to add the tiniest of details that no one else is going to notice if it's crooked or missing, but you're going to know that it's there. Number 13. When you somehow misplace your re-railer and you still have carriages to put on the track. Number 14. When you buy a model in its box, it's worth so much less if you dispose of the box, so you always have to keep it, but there's no real place for them to go without taking up too much space. And finally, number 15. When people hear you talking about Engage and want to get you something model railway related for your birthday or Christmas, and they think you're on about narrow gauge, so they just get you some more double O. And I'll say it one more time, I do love my N-Gage, I just thought it would be funny to make a video highlighting all the issues I have with it. So, thank you very much for watching, subscribe if you enjoyed, and make sure to press the like button so YouTube knows to recommend this to more people. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!